Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? So today we have an unboxing, an unboxing here of this Javelin Reflective Polyester PVC Rain Suit. And it's navy in color. And this is an extra large, excuse me. So extra large Javelin, where, where? Um, thank you for your order. Uh, so this is a raincoat, obviously, guys. Work hard, no limits. Yes, you gotta put in the work, guys. You gotta keep it going, keep it moving. You'll get to where you wanna go. So let's get into this guy, guys, and see what's going on. Once again, guys, this knife over here, this multi tool. I've got an unboxing of it. You can check it out somewhere on the channel. You can check the unboxing playlist. I've got different playlists of different things. So you can catch the one that works for you. So let's open it up and let's see what's going on inside. Uh. All right. Thank you for your order. We value your business. We are honored that we are honored that when it comes to quality and value, you think of us. We really appreciate your business and hope that we will continue to be your to be the brand you think of for your work wear needs. Please take a moment to review our products. Probably at the website, so cool man. Awesome, thank you know for buying their stuff. Let's see what their stuff is though. Boom boom boom. Oh right, so it comes so much like it's in a, it's in a case, you know, it's like it's in a bag, like so. I don't know if I'm gonna put it back in like this, you know, because you know once you wear stuff, they never just go back to where they have to go. You can't just get it right. But okay, it feels, I must say it feels good. Quality feels good. Feels good to the hand. So this will be the jacket. Okay, this will be the pants. Okay, cool, man. And like I said, guys, this is extra large. I don't know, maybe I should have bought like a bigger size because I'm going to wear this on top of other clothes. So, hmm, this ought to be interesting. Yeah. I wonder, I think this is going to be interesting, but let's see. Let's open it up and let's see what we're dealing with. Because like from the back, this feels like it's just my size without anything else. Um, but my, my bike jacket, I think, can handle like water. And then the pants is where I might be okay because hopefully these are big pants. That I can wear over, yeah. They feel they seem biggish, so that I can wear over my track pants when I ride. This one here is the one I don't think I might use this one a lot because I don't think this will fit over my jacket. But let's see, guys. Let me put it on and let's see how this thing looks. Hey, guys. So, what's up? So I've got the record on. I was worried in terms of the pants. The pants, no, actually the, the, the coat. The pants, I saw that they will fit properly. I've got them, I've got the pants on top of my track pants. But even if it's a jean, I think this will be still good. And in terms of the top, I have got my bike jacket at the inside here. Boom, boom, boom. Bike jacket in. And the coat was able to fit in. Just fine i guess obviously one is not necessarily really comfortable but if i'm riding on the on the bike i should be okay i've got my motorcycling riding gloves waterproof as well so basically what i have here is my when i'm going through the element of rain this is how i will be doing it i'll be doing it my pants, my legs will be covered, my top will be covered, uh, my head will be covered via the helmet, 
I only need to sort out the bottom of my shoes. I need to figure that out because bike shoes are quite expensive, understandably, because protective and all that, the materials they're made of, I get it, but they're still expensive. So I'll, I'll save up for them or I'll figure out if there's another plan where I can get proper uh, protective shoes. But even if maybe they're not uh, bike shoes, I don't know, but they must be waterproof. So I will be saving until I get the shoes for biking. But yeah, guys, in terms of this, this is my rain gear. This will be my rain gear. Um, I should be covered. My top is covered. I should be warm as well because I do have my, my bike jacket underneath there. And yeah, man, I feel like I should be good. I feel like I should be good. My gloves extend a bit because now you remember this top here ends. I don't know why it ends before the hand. Like so, you've got like this gap, and then underneath they have. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you have a. Ah, uh, it holds you there, and then it just covers it a bit. So I'm assuming it's for water not to go in there. So for me. I will probably just get a bit of water on my hand, but I'll just try to cover with the gloves just like that, so, so that I don't get hands inside, inside my, uh, I don't get water inside my hands. But yeah, otherwise, I think I'll be covered, guys. I just need to sort out my shoes, but I think I should be covered when the elements, when I'm riding through the elements. So. I'll keep this with the tools that I have for my bike and yeah they must always stay there just in case but yeah guys hope you're doing good hope you're doing great and going for those goals of yours don't forget keep it going keep it moving as for me guys I'll see you on the next one thank you for watching